I think uh, because of positions taken by the governor that uh, we saw that shift from educational focus to one of utility regulation. I think that became the, the, the turning position there at the end. The man who lost to Bill Clements back in 1978 thinks a unified state party was instrumental in beating Clements. Ago, we, uh, Betty and I tried real hard to unify the party. We worked hard to do that, but some way we just didn't quite get everybody pulling together like they should. And we did it this year, and I'm just delighted for Mark and Linda Gale. Mark White's election was a combination of many factors, including the contributions of teachers. I think they were angry and uh, wanted to have a change. The man who lost to Bill Clements in 1978 believes the Unified State Party helped beat Clements this year. Uh, Betty and I tried real hard to unify the party. We worked hard to do that, but some way we just didn't quite get everybody pulling together like they should. Harmony of the dollars was what was so overwhelming to me. Twelve million dollars, maybe even more than that. Uh, that was what was uh, just really kind of mind-boggling. One of the first Poll I ran. I was in that airplane all day. I didn't have any poll results. We were just talking to people around Texas, and I just had a feel for it, and I felt like that the dynamics were working for us, and I felt like the issues were on our side, and the response that we had from people across this state, from Rio Grande Valley to Texarkana to El Paso and, and uh, to the Panhandle, was just, you just feel it. The governor-elect still had not received any phone call from Governor Bill Clements late this morning, congratulating him on...